Once again, your man in Japan, Jay Contra here, and I'm at the showcase of the Tsurugaya Specialty Store here in Kokuda in Kitakyushu in the north of Japan. And just looking at some weird, the showcase here is kind of weird. It's mostly like accessories and consoles. And I'll just try and call them out like I see them. Maybe even try and get you pointing upwards. They've got, oh, they've got a complete PC Engine CD-ROM set for $300. Oh my god, is it really that expensive now? We've got the Dual R down there for $350, bucks, even though, let's see, the manuals have some damage to them. It's missing something, but I can't tell what. We've got Model 1 Sega CD drive for $300. And then the Master System Adapter for like 70 bucks. Oh my god. The Mega Adapter, what is that for? Yeah, it's for the Mark III and Gold cartridges. We have a couple 360s here. We've got the Master, the, oh, is the Reach 360? That's a cool 360, I gotta admit. For 130 bucks. Boxes for the 360, we got 60 bucks, 100 bucks. The one on the bottom has 250 gig hard drive. No, are you kidding me? No way. Is that okay? Well, never mind. I thought that was just a regular, a regular Saturn stick, but it's the Special Space Harrier one for 50. If you look in the back there, is that what I think it is? I think that's a PC Engine CD adapter, or Turbo Duo adapter, but I can't tell if that's for the R or the RX. I'm looking for an R adapter, but that should only be 20 bucks. Maybe the RX is 40. And we've got a copy of GoldenEye that's $28, although I literally just saw it in the book off for a dollar, so you can save yourself 27 bucks that way. And we got here, I was lucky to get one of these in the box. It's the Dreamcast stick for $34. They even have a Neo Geo. They've got the Neo Geo memory card for $30. Bucks. I keep forgetting that thing has a freaking memory card. Oh, wow. And then a wireless adapter for the 360 for $38. Bucks. Then, wow. Oh. And then some pretty, frankly, disgusting prices on these uh, Mega Drives. Model 1's going for $90. Bucks. And for some reason, I can't tell why, but this one has, it's got all the cables, it's got the power, it's 30 bucks, and I can't tell why the other ones are 90. And then we've got the Model 2 going for 70, if you can see it. Oh, the Saturn Movie Card. That lets you play video CDs, and it's going for 60 bucks. What else have we got? the more modern stuff. PS2 for 50 bucks is not bad. Although 140 for one in the box is a bit much. What are we doing? Oh wow, the backwards compatible PlayStation 3. 250 bucks. This guy just brought over, the employee just put in an orange GameCube, complete in-box. Okay, well, it's in-box, but it does not have the AD cables. Yeah, the box is a bit scuffed up, but they want, they want 45 bucks for the GameCube. If you're lucky, you could find it at a hard off of 30, maybe, but you just don't see them. So that's the thing, it's like, do you wait to find one for that's 30 bucks, or do you just buy this one because it's 45? Then a red Wii. I've always wanted to get the red Wii. That's 50 bucks. So we got the black and white Wii. Why is the white Wii? Oh, it's the it's an American Wii, and it's 99 dollars. 
Okay. You know, every once in a while, you know, especially you get a lot of foreigners coming into these cities. They live in Japan for a year, they bring their console, and then they just don't bother bringing it back. So you do see foreign stuff here from time to time. And then there's the, the limited edition gold model N64. In America, it was limited to Toys R Us, but I'm not sure about Japan. I wouldn't be surprised if it was the same. And they want 70 bucks for it. They've also got complete N64s. I love the Japanese N64 box, but that's going for 35. Let's see, we got we got some Fama clones. We've got a lot of DSs, and some Game and Watches upstairs, oh, upstairs up on the shelves. Okay, I'm gonna try and point you guys up just so you can see these Game Boy Advances, which are all over the freaking place in terms of prices. Because we've got a Orange Game Boy Advance is going for 70 in the box. We've got a Toys R Us Limited Skeleton Purple that's going for 150 bucks. A white that's going for 60. The regular sort of pinkish, purplish, bluish Game Boy Advance Skeleton that's 50 bucks. And a Game Boy Pocket is going for 100 dollars, but it's 30% off, so it'd be 70 bucks. And Game Boy Advances, you could not sell those for 30 bucks a few years ago. And now we've got one going for a hundred. Absolutely insane. And they've even got a Pikachu yellow Pokemon printer going for 30, like 35 bucks. And what's the other stuff they've got? They've got, let me point you guys down a little bit. How much is there? 45 bucks for the, for a complete Super Famicom. That's not bad. That's not bad. Usually, I mean, even at hard off, it'd be like 43 bucks. You've got it complete. It's a bit rough, but a Famicom, 65 bucks, 90 bucks for the AV Famicom. Oh, and then I didn't even show you guys the, uh, the Hori controllers. We've got 45 over here and then 60 for this nice sort of. What would you call this? Crystal skeleton one? I don't know. <laughs> it does look a bit like the crystal skeleton. Okay. So that was the showcase. And now I'm going to try and take you guys on. I think we're going to make these first two Sudogaya videos. We're not going to talk. We're not going to talk about Nintendo games. What we're going to do is we're going to look at Sega Saturn, and we're going to move over to the Dreamcast. I think we're going to start off with Vampire Savior, which I'm not very familiar with. Oh, it's a fighting game. I believe it comes with the memory card. Yeah, it comes with the, uh, the included 4 megabyte memory card. And so again, what we're just going to do, and please let me know if you like this style of video, but I'm going to just look at games. Also, please tell me if I'm talking too loud, but I'm trying to keep my voice up because of the nearby arcade. It is just so loud that I can't even hear myself over it. I think I just saw that for the PC Engine CD. I'll just kind of call out games that I know. I'm really trying to get into the unknown systems. Oh, but we got a biggie coming up here, folks. Because look what we have here. We've got Panzer Dragoon Saga. It's going for 30, well, you know, 25 bucks, I'd say. Incredible. 25 bucks for this. But then you can tell the, uh, you can see a little bit of that UV light reaching. I know I keep talking about, but I'm going to keep on complaining. Because it is an absolute travesty what is happening to these games. It's Alone in the Dark 2. Ooh, this uh, seems inappropriate. No appointment gals open those. What is this game? Oh, that's also not appropriate for YouTube. A 
你受命。An Angelico Special Two. Neo Romance Game. This should have the memory cartridge with it. That's cool. That's a good dog. Just trying to spice it up. I think we won't exactly go by by shelf, but here's a selection of Capcom games that they ported over. They're going for like 50 bucks. It's absolutely incredible to me how in Japan these these ports of old games can also go for a lot of money for some reason. Like really, at some point, aren't you just emulating it? Like, what's the difference if you're not playing it on the original system? The Area 51, man. Right here. Cat the Ripper. Nadeshiko. Little Suit Gundam Side Story. Three. Five bucks. Another Gundam. Quantum Gate 1, whatever that is, I believe that's a mistake game, is what I like to call it, more mistakes, <laughs> sorry Hudson, and look at this, oh, look at this, Christmas Nights, two dollars for Christmas freaking nights. Game no Tatsujin. The Ware Wareme de Pong Mahjong game. Let's see, did I miss any on this top upper shelf? No, I don't think so. Oh, Street Fighter Zero. Seven bucks. I love, you know, sometimes I just buy the Street Fighter games just for the art, because I'm not good at Street Fighter, but I love the art. I love these convenience store simulation games. 20 bucks? Why is this $20? It's one of those like weird idle love games. It's for adults. Yaku. Oh, Cyberbots. 20 bucks. Wow, what is this massive box? The King of Fighters Best Collection. It's got one of the memory cartridges, and it's got King of Fighters 95, 96, and 97. It's a cool deal. 50 bucks. Ooh, here's a big one. Sakura Tyson. 50 bucks for this guy. Cybersound made this game? Didn't know that. The Hyper Golf. I guess if you want to play some hardcore golf, it's for you. The Horde. Wow, what is that? That looks absolutely wild, a Crystal Dynamics game. Doom. What the hell is this cover, man? Look at that cover. Satan Bomberman Fighto. Let's see anything else. I can't. Hmm. I don't want to linger with the Saturn too long, but oh. Wow, this is really cheap. Um, here's um. I forgot what they called it in English, but there's damage to the disc, 
46 bucks for the um, the Rising Aiden game that came out just before Battle Garega. 40, 46 bucks is not bad. Even though, yeah, I mean, the disc is scratched. And there's Sexy Parodius. I think I've still got that CD laying around somewhere. Fantasy Zone. Solo Crisis. Something special. Ah, too bad. I wish I'd love to play this, but it's got some damage to the disc. Sonic Jam. What's in Sonic Jam? Well, it's sort of 3D. One for 15 bucks. Oh, and then Sonic Racing. Super Sonic Racing. One for 10 bucks. Oh, and then I cannot recommend this game highly enough, but so cute, Gudentai. I think we called it Terra Diver in English. This is a fantastic eating rising game. I absolutely love this game. Let's see. Let's see what the marquee titles are. We've got Dungeons and Dragons. And then we've got something that also does not look very appropriate for YouTube. I hope they don't demonetize me for showing such imagery on this, you know, family-oriented channel. The Marvel Super Heroes. This is Sonic. I can't tell because of the sticker what the what they named this in English. Let's move to the side. Oh, they got Metal Black. Unfortunately, it's one of those best collection Metal Blacks, but I'd love to get this someday. Really, you know, it's a sort of a valuable shooter. I'd love to play it. Then Rockman X4. I remember I saw, I saw a book off, and this label is for $200 once. I don't know what they were thinking. Waku Waku 7. 30 bucks. Oh, it has the RAM cartridge. What is this? Oh, it's a fighting game. Interesting. Who made this? Oh, Sunsoft. Okay, I'm gonna shift over. I'm gonna take my little, my little basket. And we're gonna shift over to the Dreamcast. Now, July is a very interesting game. 98? I could have sworn that July... Oh no, I think it was, yeah, it was a launch window game for the Dreamcast. Also got Third Strike, Street Fighter, or is it Street Fighter Third Strike? <laughs> I'm not sure. I have not actually played that yet. And then, Taco no Marine. 20 bucks. And then someone who's more knowledgeable about this than I, but could someone please tell me why this, you know, launch edition Shenmue 2 is cheaper than this Shenmue 2? Although this one does have the, the Obi on it, so maybe that's why it's more expensive. But Shenmue 2, I mean, for 10 bucks, that's a steal. Shenmue is easily like a $40, $50 game. After Shenmue 3 got announced, it really went up in price. Space Griffin. Sentimental Graffiti. Fan Fan Time Double Entendre. That looks absolutely wild and I have to play it. One of these days, 25 bucks. Sigatrice. Same Goku Turb. 10 bucks. You know, that looks like one of those weird Dreamcast games that I would love to play. Died Gudedo. Sega Rally Championship. Sega Tetris. Oh, Street Fighter Alpha 3. There we go, 12 bucks. Well, of course, it is not the Sega Saturn version. So this is really worth playing. <laughs> Let's 
Let's try to find fantastic. Street Fighter, lots of Street Fighters. Let's get this, although of course, get the one with the shiny, shiny spine. Super Robot Wars. Giant Ram 2? Oh, wrestling game. And here's some Sonic Adventure, Sonic Adventure International. Sonic Adventure 2, complete. And then just the regular old Sonic Adventure. Oop, wrong, wrong place. What else have we got? Cyber Troopers Virtual Pawn. Whatever that is. Mahjong. Death Crimson 2. 10 bucks. Daytona USA 2001. I didn't know Japan was that in a NASCAR. Shutsugeki. Teki te Teki Ticket. Toy Rangers. Not played that. Oh, but then here's a real beat up copy of Sonic Adventure 2. No, oh, well, I guess it's only this side. Whatever Alive 2. Whatever that is. And Toreja Strike. And then just for uh, finish off, finishing off this particular section, Tomb Raider 4. Let's put you back. <laughs> Didn't want to say anything inappropriate. Oh, I missed all of these. What's on the marquee? What do they want us to buy? Marvel vs. Capcom, Clash of Superheroes for 10. Moto Tsukuro, Pro Yaku Chino. And we got World Series Baseball, Monaco Grand Prix. Let's see what we get. Moegan, Milky Season. A lot of, there were a lot of like weird, I don't want to say weird, but you know, anime sort of drama, you know, visual novels that came out for the Dreamcast. I mean, 28 bucks for like a puzzle game. Can't tell what it's called. Oh, and then uh, I give this the J Contra Bump uh, Bangayo for the Dreamcast. Absolutely fantastic shooter. It does get really hard though. I was playing it recently and man, I forgot how hard that thing is. And then res, 40 bucks for res. Let's see, what have we got down here in the bottom? Machin X. Whatever that is. Whatever that is. Oh, we're just Capcom. Oh wow, and then Magic the Gathering. Trading card came with a Dreamcast. Oh my god. Classic 6th edition. Oh my god. I might just have to get this for the mem for memory's sake. That's fantastic. And this is Cleado Sound of Kaze no Irigretto. Okay, I do not even know what this could possibly be. What have we got here? Rent a Hero. Two copies. Ready to Rumble Boxing. Didn't that come out on the Xbox in, in America? Or that might have been Ready to Rumble too. Room Mania. Langrisier Millennium. Excuse me while I move up. Anything else? I want to see if they've got any of the classic. I remember looking at Daytona. We looked at that shelf. Oh, wait, we didn't look here though. Hold on. Hold on. Let me grab it. Royal Rumble. 
Kudakuramu. Whoa, inappropriate. Oh, it's, um, wow, 60 bucks for Sharon the Wanderer. Gaiden. And hold on, why are these two different? I can't, I mean, this one's maybe a little bit more beat up. Is that why it's $6 cheaper? I'm sure. Man, you know, there's a, I haven't seen any super expensive games yet. Fire Pro Wrestling. Power Smash. Copy Power Smash. And Power Stone. Power Stone 2, indeed. It's even got the... Oh, it's got the spine cover in there as well. But the black case... That's different. Oh, and the original Power Stone. Three bucks. Ooh, this one's got scratches. This one... Well, the case is broken. That's just a regular CD front. That should be easy to replace. Well, lots of Power Stones. Hello Kitty, Magical Block. Lovely Fruit Park. Wow, three whole Hello Kitty games. I'm trying to, trying to get these in order. Whoa, we also... God, so many inappropriate games for the Dreamcast. Not for this channel. That. Code Veronica complete. Five bucks. Okay, well, I don't think I have enough time to go over to the Xbox 360 games, so I think we're just going to end it. All right, let's just end it on Apple Tail because we're not going to get any better than that. And I remember the long ago of five years ago when this was a $25 game, and now it's 50 but at least it's not 100 yet. So I'm going to be signing off now. I think we'll do one more video in this place. We'll hit some of the boxes for the uh, GameCube and N64 stuff. But for now, I've been your man in Japan, Jay Contra, at the Kokura location of Surigaya Specialty Store, saying thanks for watching, see you next time, and mahalo.